In a world where barriers often obstruct the path to success, there are individuals who rise above adversity, defying expectations and redefining what is possible. Meet Professor Jason Arday, a remarkable sociologist whose journey to success has been nothing short of extraordinary. Diagnosed at an early age with autism, he faced significant challenges, including the inability to speak until he was 11 and the struggle to read and write until he was 18. So after hundreds and thousands of hours of speech therapy, um, I was very fortunate, and I guess I look at it as fortunate because people persevere with you, including my mum, um, who went, who accompanied me to all of those sessions and other people. Um, at the age of 11, I then said my first word, which was hello. So that was quite a surreal moment because as my mum always recalls, I used it in the right context. What people don't always realise is that subsequently from the age of 11 to 16, there was still a lot of learning to do in terms of kind of phonic exercises, soundings, making sense of when to use the right kind of words, tenses and phrases in just spoken dialogue. It was really when I got to like 16 that I felt more comfortable with kind of the English vernacular in terms of how to use the right types of language and how to engage with people. The period of kind of living non-verbally, to, to be quite honest, was a privilege. Um, I got to observe and absorb the world in a really unique way that most people don't get to. So I got to observe human interaction and what I became obsessed with was how human beings interact with one another. Little did I know in the kind of paralysis of speech that I would be um, observing ways in which I could engage with human beings when I was older. Jason then decided to further his education and studied to become a teacher of physical education at the University of Surrey. I hadn't no clue what I was doing, um, to be quite frank. I, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Like, you, you, you do what you think is your best. Um, you know, I didn't understand the language people used um, when they were lecturing. I didn't understand texts. And you've got to remember that when I went to university, I was 20, but I had the reading age of a 12 year old. And I guess a lot of what I did was repetition and practice, repetition and practice. So what I used to do was write um, 500 words a day, every single day for basically 15 years. And I practiced and I practiced. So at university, this was even more exaggerated. And I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. And the thing that kind of was the, um, you know, that, that propelled that way of thinking was really my, my mum's kind of endeavors around kind of saying to me, look, Jason, I think you could do something great but you're going to have to do it in a different way. You're going to have to do it in an unconventional way. While studying at the university, Jason became fixated on higher education. He attributes much of his success to the encouragement he received from his mentor and close friend, Sandro Sandri. I had a lecturer who just got a PhD and I'd asked them, what's, what's a PhD? And they said that it means I'm a doctor now and you just need to concentrate on studying because you won't have one of these. And I didn't take any offence to that. I thought, yeah, they were right. I mean, why would I think that? And so that evening I went, I, for some reason I, I met Sandro and I said to Sandro, I explained to Sandro what this was. And I said to him, can you imagine if we did one? Um, whatever that means. And Sandro kind of started laughing. He said, what are you laughing about? I, I, I you know, and he said, um, he said, Jason, we, you know, he paused after this kind of laughter and with a straight face, he said to me, how crazy would it be if you managed to get a PhD by the time you outside the time I was 22? He said, if you got a PhD in eight years time, you would have been reading and writing for less than 12 years. Can you imagine if we did that? Jason went on to acquire two master degrees and a PhD in educational studies. Last March, Jason became the youngest black professional ever appointed to a professorship at the prestigious University of Cambridge. We are um, incredibly proud that Dr. Arde has joined us here in the Faculty of Education. Clearly, we're very proud because he's the youngest ever uh, professor to be appointed in Oxford or uh, Cambridge, black professor, and um, also because of the contribution that he makes here to the faculty, the quality of his ideas, the quality of his research. Jason's goal is to utilize this platform to affect real change. He aims to open doors for individuals from disadvantaged backgrounds, democratize higher education, and lead the way toward a more inclusive academic landscape. I think there's such a breadth of research in the Faculty of Education. 
um, and I feel really fortunate to be a small part of that but I feel even more fortunate because I think there's an opportunity to learn some really good practice you know world leading research and some other methods and methodological ways of kind of constructing knowledge um, that I'm really really excited about and probably the thing that trumps that is just kind of seeing hopefully the number of black students that will continue to come through um, these doors um, and if my appointment has um, inspired that in some small way then that's great and I think the privilege will be to be able to work with them and to be able to harness their dreams and to show them everything that I know so they can go on and be as great as they were destined to be. For A World of Difference, I'm Cindy Peterson.